Tio, please. Hey there, this is Tio, bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. This is kind of part two to my last video where I showed off a, a folding plane that I fit into the back of this here cargo plane. But this is uh, a little bit different. I'm gonna actually try to launch that cargo, that um, folding plane and redock it with this mothership type cargo plane. So here you see me trying to decouple. I've got a couple different decouplers that I have to mess with. The, um, the action keys didn't actually function. So rip the front of the plane off. Let me uh, come here to the um, space plane hangar and do a couple of modifications. The main one being I'm swapping out that, uh, that rocket engine for an air breathing engine. That's going to give me a whole lot more range because uh, in the first couple of attempts that I did before um, recording, it, uh, it was very apparent this was not going to be an easy task. So I need a whole lot more range. It's going to take me a lot longer than I would like to to attempt this docking. So I'm going also adding some uh, some thrusters there to hopefully give myself some some uh, maneuverability as I get closer to the to the back of the cargo plane. It's, it's really, really difficult uh, once you get close to like dial in your position and, and go ahead and dock. So now you see me putting the new, the better, different folding plane back in the cargo plane, doing a couple of adjustments so that my newer, that longer engine exhaust doesn't, um, uh, I don't think it's called an exhaust, whatever it's called, doesn't, doesn't uh, pass through the back of the plane, doesn't clip. But um, I'll go ahead and launch give this another try so uh, one issue that I realized in in this attempt in the previous attempts was the uh, cargo plane unfortunately with those giant wings uh, those stock wings don't provide quite enough lift so I have to fly at a much higher speed than I would like so uh, there you see I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to pitch the cargo plane back up and in that time, uh, lost sight of it actually. So uh, I've got it uh, selected as a target, thankfully, so that the cargo plane appears on the nav ball. Actually, in, in this in this case, I did not. So the cargo plane has the jet selected, but the jet does not have the cargo plane selected. So I'm having to use the map to try and spot this cargo plane, which is big, but at a distance, it appears like a, a speck pixel so uh, lost sight of it and I have a feeling I know exactly where it is because it hasn't been moving and sure enough it is in the water so that's it for this attempt just kind of want to show you the, the, the uh, lessons learned from attempt to attempt so each each attempt I'm kind of tweaking my my approach so in this case uh, I know right after our lease I select the plane so that it appears on my nav ball I also know I gotta switch right back to the plane and pitch nose up so that it doesn't crash into the water. I'm gonna try to fly the cargo plane at a, a lower speed so that uh, so that it's more forgiving. Right now I'm, I'm traveling so fast you can't see because I'm selecting target and not uh, surface. But if you can see my speed relative to the surface, I'm going 300 plus meters per second, which is fast. I am moving, so uh, I feel like that makes it a whole lot harder to control not very nimble and uh, any little tap on uh, on the keys my control surfaces just sends me flying so and anytime I tap up or down pitch up or down it's causing me to slow down or speed up as well which it just makes this whole maneuver super super hard I imagine in aerial refueling they get their altitude dialed in and then kind of catch up to the plane or slow down or whatever but in this case it's it's any anytime I change altitude it changes speed for that brief moment and it's just it's really really tough to dial it all in and a couple times I touch the cargo plane I'll hit the top of it I'll hit a wing I think on this attempt you'll see how it ends and my fuel's getting low I'm getting frustrated and I think I'm, I might go to the vehicle assembly or the space plane hangar and make a tweak or two but uh I want to see if I can even just touch the cargo plane if I want to. So uh, again, I'm getting low on fuel. You'll see how I decide to to end this attempt here in a second. It's a lot of fun, but um, if I were to do this again, I would absolutely modify the cargo plane design so that it it again has way more lift and it can fly at a much lower speed. And bloop.
we're both gonna crash. <laughs> Got a little frustrated. I'm like, okay, that's enough for this attempt. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my second attempt. Uh, get close again, and everything works well except for actually uh, bringing it home. Can't actually touch the uh, docking port. So uh, this was just an attempt. This wasn't successful. But um, again, if I do it again, I'll, I'll definitely just change up the design on the cargo plane. Hopefully, I have a whole lot more luck. So hope you enjoyed my attempt, enjoyed my pain, and. Uh, Enjoy the video, hit the like button if you haven't already, leave a comment, subscribe, appreciate you tuning in, and I will see you next time.